I want to show you how I dye fleece. This is fleece from my own sheep and it's a um, English, Leicester, English Leicester Merino cross. This has been washed over the summer when it was um, hot so that I could I had plenty of hot water. So as you can see the staple is reasonably long and um, these were from my own sheep and these were from coated sheep that I had a coat on and washed it. Now it does feel a little bit like there's still a little bit of lanolin left in it which isn't going to really worry me because I'm going to dye it anyway and the rest of it will come out while I'm dyeing it. Okay, so I usually put it in the same lingerie bags that I use for the fibre and the tops and that and I um, I will use this to mostly make bats and things from so I usually just put, put it in a bag one of these mesh bags as you can see it's quite hanging together a bit pop it in zip it up look at that a working zip how good is that <laughs> usually I reckon before now and then I put it to soak in um, a bucket that's got water and a little bit of the fixative a that the earth palette fixative a which is actually a surfactant and all that does is breaks down the water tension so that the water can soak in and it helps the dye to saturate you know and, and make a better color I have washed these with the Tantec fiber scour so it, and I use quite hot water but it's important when you do scour your fleece that you don't leave it in to get cold that you actually take it out while the water is still hot because the lanolin will all dissolve in the water and then with the scour and then you need to get it off your fibre, off your fleece and away from the fleece so that all the lanolin goes with the water. Now I'm going to squash quite a bit in here but you'll find that it, that it will um, pack down fairly well once it's damp. Alright, another working zip on a roll today. I reuse these mesh bags many 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 times even when the zips don't work. I just put a rubber band on them then and I pull them apart so this is quite a nice long fleece bit of a curl in it and then I will come back and show you how I dye this fleece once it's had a soak so that'll probably be maybe this afternoon if I get a chance otherwise it'll have to be tomorrow morning but I will be back and do a tutorial on how to dye it. Well, I think that one's got enough. All these little bags look like they've got the zips working. I don't know what's going on here. But I'll pack it all up. I'm not worried too much about how it's sort of clumped together. And there is still a little bit of vegetable matter and that in it, but that'll come out while it's being spun or carded or whatever. Once you've washed your fleece, you can put it Aside, I keep these in bags. I actually use plastic bags. Um, I've never had any issues with it, and I put it inside a, um, I think it's about a 50 litre tub, so that it stays clean and tidy and um, moth proof. Alright, I think we've got enough for one more. Hmm, if I'm lucky. will it fit that is the question i think it will look at that ah wouldn't you know it a broken zip okay well, i'll get a rubber band to put on that and then i'll put these all into soak and i'll show you how it looks when it comes out when we're ready to dye them hopefully this afternoon but possibly tomorrow Thanks for watching 
uh, feel free to give me a like and subscribe and I will have I'll be back with more.